Hi everybody, I'm Justin and I'm going to be showing you guys the animation brush pack for Painter and Particle Shop today. In this brush pack, as you can see by our key image, there are lots of very expressive brushes. Um, these are, as you can tell, of course geared towards animation and the difference between this one and the concept art brush pack you probably recently saw is these are based off of expressions commonly used among the animation industry in a particle fashion so uh, again let's go back to the original of the key image and we'll be going down the list and I'll be showing you guys how each brush works individually so excuse me if I, I will do my best not to get carried away with any of these there are some of them I had quite some fun making so let's go ahead and start with drips right here and again I want to emphasize that these are for effects for for you know a lot of times in animation we end up with something that's flat and we want to you know maintain a natural look for just our own personal reasons personal expression and these are some good brushes to add kind of those splashes we'll go again we're going to start going down this list uh, to show some intention here so we're going to start with the drips here and this one is kind of this one is a sort of a type of paper texture and you can play with this right here and it's original intention if you're in painter you're going to have some paper turned on but go ahead and slide that down and its original intention kind of looks like this just some nice paper drips but i don't want to mess with your original painter preferences that you've got up there so it might be on something might be on a paper you're previously using this could be used for many purposes towards the bottom of your paper maybe a dark buildup instead maybe that's a little more realistic for what you're doing let's go ahead and just delete that layer and we'll redo it here and we're going to move on to glow and this one every good brush pack needs one this one has got some very wide expression to it so it kind of goes everywhere and if you turn your opacity up let's try it on this little lantern here it can make some cool little artifacts so if you've got like a cave or some complicated lighting this one is very fun to play with ink is going to be more of a stationary brush um, you're going to want to use it on the side turn your opacity down to 10 or 20 percent and on its own layer you can play with the different size each if, if you change the size it kind of seems to change how the expression rolls out but you can adjust this if it's on its own layer move it up and down maybe you need to tuck it away a little more just something to keep in mind and now let's go to magic right here and this one sh should definitely be used on its own layer because what you're going to do this is a really bad picture for this one because the perspective is not correct in this picture so it's going to have a hard time kind of being easy with me but let's just use these so now on your own layer you're gonna turn your opacity down let's turn that brush up and we're just gonna make that look a little more natural and I find kind of the, the less you have of this the more there is the more it's kind of an effect you say oh wow I just noticed that um, so let's move on to the next one night sky this one is so much fun to play with this is one of the brushes I could get carried away with very easy let's select a color here but let's make it bright so you can see it so this one a lot of times you paint like a big blue sky and it doesn't have a lot a lot to it and you got these people looking up at the sky and you don't know whether you should paint seven more trees or or what the deal is but this is some nice little night sky splash you can add to any kind of flat sky at least that's one of the struggles I have so this is a great brush for that before I get too carried away with that let's just move right on here and this one is fun this one if you've got a dark corner I struggle with dark corners I made this little paper thing so you're gonna want to make sure your texture if you're in painter you're gonna make sure that your your paper is down low 
and you can see this makes some nice paper texture that just adds some depth to kind of your your picture some natural a natural look you can kind of use it in any kind of area you really want you ever seen that thick resume paper it's got those little paper flicks on it that's kind of the intention of this now however if you want to turn this up and use it with some grain that's fun too because it kind of combines the two of them so let's reset here pencil is really fun I'm gonna go ahead and select this color and this one is fun to just make some marks and if let's say I want to draw in some little a little bit of wood here I'm gonna go ahead and use my eraser again and I'm gonna back out of it and look how natural that looks something fun to play with a nice little bold pencil and push is a good atmosphere brush but it's got some expression to it it's a little wormy you can kind of see it it's so it's good for if you've got a dynamic scene you've got some things going on let's turn the opacity down I don't know why I was turning it up so see how we're pushing this away but it's got all these cool little if you look at if you look at the edge of this That can be fun to play with. That's one again, I'm gonna move on before I get ridiculously carried away from it. Spotlight is very fun. So let's say I just want a little add a little glow of something. Right here, that'd be perfect. It's let's look at it a little closer. It's a very expressive glow brush that's got some texture to it. So it does cool things. It's not like our other glow brush that whips out and if you're in painter you can choose you can choose what grain that you're that you're using uh, I can't think of a good one you'd have to kind of go in your paper panels but you can see the difference between this and this is a, just a tad different it's fun to build your glow around this let's move on to sprite these are very fun so in every video game we have these little glowy things that kind of follow characters around you know which ones I'm talking about and this particular brush you turn your grain down or up but I recommend it down and you can kind of tap it around and make little you can put this at the end of somebody's wand you can put this on their candle it's just a short a short light oh that does look good that is just what we typically call a little sprite they're almost like little glow ball creatures because they're so concentrated in one area let's move on to the next one where am I storm this one is fun if you play with it right so let's add some storm around here. Let's add, we're going to want to lower the opacity of this. Maybe not that much. A little storm there. A little storm there. Gonna blend it in a little bit. And a little there. This could go for so many scenes. You could add this to so many different worlds you're trying to make something again that's fun in the sky I struggle so much with skies so it's nice to have some effect brushes that are different with different intentions uh, streamer is very fun because it's kind of like the magic brush but it's got kind of a closer you can kind of almost draw with it you could almost write I could sign my last name with it and it's got a fun color variation to it but you can kind of make some tight little twirls you're gonna to have to use some artistic skill with this one but it's a fun little streamer you can use it's again something you see something you would see commonly in the animation industry so let's use twinkle this one's kind of fun you can't have animation without little 
sparkle here and there on a coin or a key element or a treasure chest or something fun uh, something nice to have you don't have to draw that it kind of is whipped in there and wet this is for turning your paper wet so if you've got some white paper you need a sketchy drawing um, let's try it on this darker image right here you can kind of see this just adds this um, but let's say we were on some white paper and I wanted to add that you can kind of see especially if I were to turn down the opacity you can kind of see how this just you can scrub in some wet and you can add color or whatever let's go back to our key image and last but not least the wisp brush this one is another kind of magic brush but let's look at it up close it's a little more angry feeling it's a little more something you would use briskly however it's lighter you could probably actually use this one more realistically because it's got a, a brisk but subtle effect you can kind of make to surround somebody or have some really cool effects with that one anyways guys that is the animation brush pack for painter and particle shop not to be confused with the one for painter essentials uh, which has five less brushes this has five more uh, just for clarification I am really excited to see what people uh, use this for in their in their work especially their animation work or if you have a different use of it that you would like to use um, thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see your creations around the internet